Howdy there folks and welcome back to Completely Average Gaming and welcome to Production Line. It's uh, been a game in uh, development for quite some time. It's a solo guy, Cliff Harris, Cliff, Cliff something, uh, who uh, makes the game. He programs it, codes it, he designs it, he does everything. And if you want to see... Uh, uh, <laughs> A guy who is really excited about this game, you should definitely check out his, his uh, video, uh, sorry, his YouTube channel. Um, this game has gotten, you know, tons of updates since it uh, really released to early access. Uh, it's still got some bugs and some, some little bits and bobs that, uh, you know, will be probably fixed by, by the time it comes out uh, of early access. Um, so, you know, there might be some, some glitches and bugs and whatnot. So keep that in mind. Um, for now, though, we're going to give this a little bit of an early access love and test it out uh, with its latest uh, iterations. We're going to go ahead and we're going to try uh, the scenarios because they're new to me. Uh, not sure when they got added in. I haven't been playing this game, you know, back to back since I bought it a few a year ago or something, I want to say. I don't remember when I bought it. I bought it fairly early on, I think, um, as I saw it arrive at Steam. Um, so, anyways, the scenario is uh, 3,000 cars sold. Uh, 250 cars is expensive, and uh, 750 mid-range cars. Uh, we got 15 game days to do this, so we're just going to jump right in. Find ourselves a little bit of a logo. Uh, Transformers, anyone? Uh, Lion. Let's go with Lion. Uh, can I change the name of my company as well, or is that, you know, too much to ask? Present. Uh, here? No. Nope. 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 Alright. Screw it. It's gonna be uh, a random named company. Doesn't really matter that much. Not yet, anyways. Uh, so yeah, uh, the, the way the game plays is um, you uh, put down different production facilities for your cars, are off um it's fairly easy it's fairly well made uh this little uh, uh build uh, menu here you can just basically start from the top and go down and uh, you'll have all you need so we'll start off with uh chassis assembly uh as you can see to the right about here when i mouse over it it takes 12 minutes and 52 seconds um we're just gonna do one of those then we have fit body, which takes 31 minutes, almost 32. So we're going to do, uh, you know, quite a little double dance with those. Um, so like that. And uh, fit body takes 34 minutes. And I think we'll actually go ahead and we'll do three of these. Uh, believe it or not, like so. Fit engines, 22 minutes again. Uh, we'll do two of these. So like that and fit accessories it takes 15 minutes um so we're gonna do we'd probably do two of these too shouldn't we um hang on yeah we will we'll do two of these as well i'm gonna move it up one so that we can access this later we'll we'll get to what that is in in a little bit of a second um fit electronics takes two minutes not gonna need a lot of those uh, we're gonna move that all the way over here quality check i um, gonna keep on moving that over to uh, say uh... oh I just realized we'll remove this one um, and we'll do where is it chassis assembly right there I put that there instead and then we're gonna do uh, quality check coming uh, this way. So say there, for example, and export is gonna be there. Uh, so if we work out our little uh, line here, just make one going straight through to begin with. Then we'll, of course, connect that up to all sorts of things uh, like that, like so. Um, this will come this way and hook up here. Uh, right. This needs to be redone. Oops. Oh, well. 
Alright, so what we'll do is we'll go this way, pick that up, come this way, and all the way down, and connect up. Ah, shoot, I re need to redo a lot of stuff. Bollocks, as they say in, uh, in the UK. There we go, um, we do all of this here. Uh, the top one needs to come this way, actually, like so. And like that. Did that become the right way? I don't know. We'll see. Like so. Seeing how these are two, we can just uh, hook them up like this. And bring that around that way. Make that up. Like so. Ugh. And I keep screwing up. Oh well. Like this. And then bring this all the way over here. And the reason why we're going about this in such a funky way, uh, seeing how we have all this space, yet we're, you know, trying to make our footprint as small as possible, will be, uh, hopefully be evident in not that long. Did I do conveyor now? Or did I? I did, didn't I? There we go. Um, resource importer is fairly important to begin with. Um allows you to make things more efficient uh or not more efficient and allows you to actually make stuff see it, it, it probably not the best uh way to go for a uh you know youtube wouldn't necessarily call me a youtuber because you know i don't make any money out of this um a hobby youtuber i suppose um you should be able to talk and do sting things at the same time there we go Everything is almost hooked up. One thing missing, and that is uh, this thing. There we go. Uh, what have we done so far? We've put down the conveyor belt for the cars. Uh, that was the wrong place to start uh, here, uh, which will go through all the different sorts of segments uh, in car production. Uh, coming back around here, and uh, through quality assurance, and out to, uh, to where it gets sell sold. Um, you can see here we're producing sedans, uh, sedan, sedan, you know what I mean. Uh, that can be changed into different sorts of cars at some point uh, once we research the right things for that. Uh, right now we don't do research at all. Uh, that's something we will definitely start doing. Um, that was the research uh, menu, uh, but we'll also need some research offices. Uh, since we had to take out the loan anyways, I think we'll just, um, do a bunch of these. Uh, what is wrong with me? And you don't get more than about a half back, so, you know, it, that was unnecessary. Um, what we'll do is we'll start with robots, research, and then we'll add efficiency to the queue. Uh, and, uh, we'll also do, uh, some power plants, put that in the queue. Uh, as you can see, uh, our cars are now getting uh, steadily, slowly um, pushed through the factory. Um, green means uh, that the cars are, are going through all right. Uh, they're, the time they are spending getting done is, is the time they're supposed to be spending. Yellow means they're waiting for a free slot. And red, uh, whenever that pops up, means that we're waiting for um, resources. So our, uh, you know, resource conveyors at the moment are not laid out in a very efficient way in terms of getting resources to all sorts of spots uh, quickly. Uh, but it's laid out more, you know, whatever way is cheapest, um, basically, at the moment. And you can also see here uh, what kind of uh, things get imported at any given time. Um, it pops up a little dialogue there. Um, when you research things, and this is new, and it's fabulous... You can click this upgrade all button right here, upgrade all slots, and uh, you will, uh, you know, upgrade all the relevant slots uh, like that. You already got more research queued, so we're not going to worry anything else about that. Before that button came in, the upgrade all, you had to go into every single station, click upgrade and buy. Um, 
which was uh, time consuming. It doesn't look so time consuming now because now we have a small factory. Uh, every bits and pieces are, you know, just chunk pieces. But eventually, um, like now we've built all of these pieces, eventually you can click them and you can, you know, do under stages. Uh, more specialized stage stages and we're going to be um, definitely working towards uh, getting there and not that long, hopefully. Um, what will we do now? I think we'll actually go ahead and we'll do... Um, uh, what is it? Is it entertainment? And uh, then we'll add in-car music. And once we get that unlocked, I'll I'll, um, I'll uh, go through what that means for us. Um, I think we'll start with that, and then we'll take it from there. Um, at present, we probably don't produce many cars an hour, but you can get a uh, feel for that up in this little button right here. Show factory efficiency statistics. Right now, not available. So you know, <laughs> whoop whoop, uh, basically. Uh, but as this car comes out, we uh, will probably get closer to knowing what kind of uh, statistics we're looking at. We can also go in here. Uh, you can click this button right here. Our designs. Click this. And then you can uh, ramp up the premium you charge for your cars. So how much over production uh, costs you you require. Or you what? how much you want to add to the production costs. You sell the cars. Uh, right now, I don't think we'll, we are making much money, but we'll, we will. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry, child. Um, yeah, we'll see here. As you can see, this one it was waiting for resources. Red, there we go. And uh, this area here is, is could probably have done with just one, but whatever. All right, uh, that's the power plant. The beauty of the power plant is that we uh, let's have a quick little look at how much we spend on this at the moment. Um, expenses, um, power purchase, ten thousand an hour. We spend in uh, power purchases. So we'll go ahead and we'll plunk down a couple of power plants. Um, can use this space here. They're relatively uh, expensive, but you know it works. Right now we only produce 35-ish percent of the power we use, as far as I can uh, tell at least. Apparently 40% markup was a little much, so we keep stocking up our cars. So we're going to reduce it by 5%, see how that works. Um, and if we look into uh, here now, uh, if it's updated, I don't know if it has. It hasn't. Uh, we'll wait for a few, maybe we'll update in uh, now, for example. Beautiful. Another research done. Here now we spend four thousand less on on power, which is awesome. Uh, and of course, you can research how well your um, wrong place. Uh, you can research how well your power production is. You can uh, power plant efficiency, for example, would be uh, increasing the amount of power you produce or a high output power plant. What's this then? I don't know. Maybe this is an upgrade and this is uh, just a, a, a different power plant. I don't know. We'll figure this out as we go. It looks like this is... Uh... Yeah, there's two different uh, power plants and there's also an upgrade to it. What we could look into uh, in order to speed things up a little is to um, improve the resource... Um, the I think the amount of uh, time it takes for resources to get different places by, uh, for example, hooking this up directly here or uh, putting another resource importer here over, over the green arrows or resource import positions. And we could just easily hook that up right there. And the blue ones are, of course, exports of uh, ready-made cars. You can see the cars are getting made here um, as they move along. They get more pieces added to them. Uh, if you click any um, any station, you can see uh, here the time it takes for... Here we go. Upgrade that one right away. Uh, and I'm pretty sure we already have... Nope, we didn't. All right. 
uh, premium mu music, maybe, perhaps. Uh, voice recognition, we can do that one. A little bit cheaper. You can see how long uh, all these little bits and bobs up here are different uh, segments and different specializations uh, you can do. Um, as you can see, the time moves along and uh, for each of these segments. This is the total amount of time that, that all of this takes, and this is the amount of time that each and one of these uh, take. And that varies, of course, between what these ones represent. Uh, so that was a little rundown of that. Um, insufficient resources. I really think we should look into... Uh, we'll do that. We'll throw another resource importer right there and hook it up. Like so. Hopefully that will help us uh, get resources to where they need to go when they need to go there. Uh, what we need to do, because we now got the in-car music, this one, uh, and we added it to uh, our electronics, that's this one. Uh, the upgrade is here, so we can put it into cars, which means we'll have to go in here and click this button in order to include it into the car production. If you look here, uh, 22,879, I click it, it goes down. Now it's included and it goes up. And you can also see the little animation here changes with an, with an antenna and with that one. That's pretty cool. Um, at least if you ask me. Anyways, uh, once this is done, I think we'll start with some specializations. Add to Q and add to Q. And we'll do that one and this one and that one. And we'll do that one, I think. Start off with that, and then we'll go back into here and look at some more, um, you know, researches and, and technologies to add to the cars as well eventually. Uh, but out of there now. Don't need to hang around. Uh, and, and the reason why I chose the in-game music is because in-car music. <laughs> Too, way too into the gaming world is that it's uh, added in the electronics one and that doesn't take much time to begin with adding um, adding a component of course makes uh, each car produ produce takes take longer um, so by adding it to this one it wouldn't become a bottleneck whilst if you added something to to say the painting at the moment or, or rather the body fit right now that would just make the bottleneck even worse. And uh, and that's not the way to go. Not if you ask me anyways. Um, we will also be researching some more robots. Um, I think I queued that up, if I remember correctly. Um, which means that things, like every, every station that has robots, uh, move and do their things a lot quicker than, uh, than they normally do. Um, Obviously, four robots work quicker than two, and six works quicker than, than two, and four, for that matter. And that's sort of how, how that works. Um, and you you pay for every resource imported, uh, you pay a, a cost for that. So that's how that works. Also, in, in a, a, one of the more recent recent update the updates I think uh, they put in uh, where can I see that uh, not in there <laughs> I would have thought it was in there uh, maybe it's not added in yet maybe it was just uh, you know part of the features come um, but you can also also see because uh, your cars can have defects on them um, if we look at that one do you have any defects you don't. How about you? Nope. You? Maybe a little bit early on. How about you, buddy boy? No. Of course not. You? Nope. Alright. You can also, um, as you might have seen there, you can also, you know, follow the car around the factory like this. Just uh, hang around and chill for forever now in the beginning and uh, follow the car moving around. That's pretty sweet. Um, yeah, 
hope you, I think we'll leave it there for now. Uh, we need to ramp up some money in order to start specializing in all sorts of things. Um, we can wait for this one. Uh, but once we finish off these researches here, uh, we will get um, to use, we can then, ah, uh, wrong button. Instead of putting down this one, as we did now, uh, we can go in here and we can put down the fit axles and uh, undercarriage and fuel tank and same thing with body paint and fit engine and the accessories, all sorts of things, which is beautiful. Um, but for that, we'll, we're going to need a ton of cash for that to work and also a ton of space. I'm thinking uh, we'll probably kneel to uh, to the expansion gods and, and grab this little... Um, Upgrade all. Beautiful. Uh, also grab this little uh, spot right there. Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll put voice recognition in as well. Just to uh, ramp up the price tag on our cars. I uh, hope you all enjoyed the episode. If you did, please be sure to smack that like button. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, please leave them down below. And if you want to stay up to date on this channel... And, uh, you know, all things average, basically, when it comes to gaming. Be sure to subscribe, and uh, hopefully I'll see all you guys in the next one. Till then, here we go.